Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ace Noguera, and on this channel we cover a wide range of topics in the photo and video space. And in this particular video, the topic is going to be how to take professional selfies or professional self-portraits. I'm going to give you some tips that you guys can apply the next time you go out and shoot some self-portraits that'll really help you take things up a notch and make them look really professional. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video first things first before we jump into any of the tips uh, if possible if you don't already have one highly recommend getting a tripod as you can see that's what I'm using now which is why both my hands are actually free um, this just allows you a lot more freedom, especially when taking self-portraits. You can have the camera a little bit further away and just kind of trigger it with a remote or an app, and you won't have to actually be running back and forth to the camera to take your shot. Now, one thing I usually recommend a lot of people do, even before they go out and shoot pretty much anything, is to look for inspiration. A lot of the times you'll also not only find the type of image that you want to shoot, um, however, be able to get some inspiration and be able to add your own flavor to that particular image. But you'll also notice that generally a lot of these professionals have something in common, which is what makes them look a little bit more professional as far as the final product. And one of those things is usually something that makes the photo unique, something that not everybody is going out and shooting. So for example, it could be something like adding a unique prop to the photo as opposed to just holding out the camera in front of you and taking a photo. It could be using different colored lights to add a lot more drama to the image, something like that. Usually being able to pick up some sort of unique element for your photo can already elevate it and take it to another level and set it apart from that of just a regular selfie or a regular self-portrait that you made just see anywhere and everywhere. Now that you have some ideas floating around and a way to make your image a little bit more unique, comes the fun part of actually taking the photo. One thing that I like to recommend, if at all possible, is to shoot with a fast lens. And what I mean by that is shoot at a very low f-stop. So for example, on this uh, camera right here, or this lens rather, I am shooting right now at an f1.4, which allows my background to be a little bit blurred as you're seeing now. That is also something that makes your image look a little bit more professional. It basically helps the viewer focus on the subject that is being focused on, which in this case is obviously my face and everything behind me is blurred out. Now another tip that you guys could do when you're taking a self-portrait is to not even look at the lens, kind of look off into the distance. This will give a little bit more of a dramatic feel, not to mention it'll also give the viewer the sense that this was not a self-portrait because you're not even looking at the camera. This is something that can be used in a wide variety of ways. Like I said, you can simply look off into the distance or I mean, there's just a bunch of different ways that you guys can really get creative with it. Uh, for example, you can also maybe introduce a mirror. Remember, like I said, adding a unique prop or something like that. Have a mirror that you can look into or face the camera so that you're looking into the mirror and the camera is looking at you through the mirror and just add a little bit more depth and difference but still being able to capture you in that photo. It's basically, like I said, just a creative way to grab something a little unique that you guys can use to your benefit. Another really big thing is to simply have fun with it and use just natural expressions. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead and make a serious face. Just play around with it. See what you end up liking the most. A lot of the times what I will do personally is literally just take a bunch of shots in sequence. However, every single shot that I take, I'll change up my pose, whether it be a little bit, I'll do something like this, like this, I'll look at the lights, look over my shoulder, change up my, my hands and my shoulders, you know, can turn one shoulder a little more towards camera. There's, 
there's a lot of different things that you can do. However, I've just found that being able to shoot in sequence and changing up your pose every sequence, obviously by the end of the shoot, you are left with a lot more choices to pick from and then edit. Now, if you wanted to combine all these tips and then edit and take everything to the next level even further, you could add some really cool effect like this. This is called a double exposure and doesn't have to even be captured in camera. You can simply take a self-portrait, throw it in Photoshop and basically create this effect. We actually have a video here on the channel that teaches you exactly how to do this step by step in a very easy to follow way. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check out that video as well. And guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really does help the channel continue to grow. And down below will be some links to some really awesome contests we have going on over at viewbug.com. And you can enter into these contests to win some really amazing prizes, not to mention potentially get exposure worldwide. So if that's something you are interested in, go ahead and click in the link down below to learn more. Now with that said, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.